Hi, I'm Eric Watson, Great Plains Service Department. Today we're going to be going over calibration settings and operational procedures for our 1206 NT pull type drill. Most of what we're going to cover today will also be used in our compact drill line as well as some of our other small pull type and mintil drills. This side of the drill we're focused on currently is for the main seed box up front. We also on this case have a native grass box and a small seed box. This is the drive for your small seed box. The drive for the native grass we'll get to in a minute. It's on the opposite side of the drill. To go through some general settings for calibrating this drill, the things we have to keep in mind for the main box is we have our drive type settings. There's four different drive types. We either have a gear box like this drill has, or we have a sprocket box on some of the other models. There's a seed rate handle back here that has a setting from zero to 100. That adjusts the gate or percentage opening of our fluted seed cups to administer seed. Another thing on the side of our cups is a tan handle that has three different positions you can run in in the field. That's to allow different size of material to be able to pass through the fluted feed cup. One thing to keep in mind while we're talking about calibration, this is the drive for the small seeds box. If you'll notice the drive comes over here off the main ground drive shaft. It is in no way altered or changed by the drive type settings. It is one to one with the ground drive only. So the only way to adjust the outcome of the small seed box is by the handle on the back of the small seed box that goes from zero to 100%. Now we're going to go through our calibration settings on our main box for what we're doing today in the field. We're going to be putting on 60 pounds of oats in the main box and 10 to 12 pounds of brome in the native grass box. To focus on the main box, the first thing we want to reference is our seed rate book. So we'll get out our seed rate book so we can get our general settings. This drill happens to be seven and a half inch spacing. So for 60 pounds, we can either put it in drive type two on a seed rate handle of 70, or we can put it in drive type three on a seed rate handle of approximately 48. Once we know where to set the drill, we can go to our gearbox and make sure it's in our drive type two setting. We'll go to our seed rate handle up there and make sure it's set on the proper setting for the drive type that we've chosen. And we can also do our little tan handle on the side of the cups to make sure it's in the top notch for oats. Then to do a calibration, as you can see here, we've got a calibration crank. This calibration crank is normally in storage up on the tongue. To get the calibration crank to operate properly, we need to make sure the drill is lowered to the ground so that the clutch is engaged and the drive is live. Then we'll come over here to our lockout hub, make sure it's disengaged so that frees up that handle so it can turn. Then we'll go ahead and I'll pour our seed in our main box, enough to cover three rows, approximately a little bit more than an acre's worth. Then on this particular drill, the revolutions per acre is 355 calibration handle turns. So in this condition, we would take our seed rate, our little seed sample bucket, a digital fish scale. We'll weigh our bucket so we know what our static bucket weighs empty. Then underneath the drill, we'll take three seed hoses off of three rows, put them into the bucket so we can catch them in a common location. Then we will turn our calibration crank 355 revolutions, which would be one acre's worth of travel distance. Once we've done that, then we'll remove our bucket, take our fish scale once again, weigh our sample, subtract the amount of the bucket. That'll tell us how much is coming out for three rows. We'll take that amount divided by three to give us an average of what is coming out per row on the drill. Then we'll take that amount times the number of rows that are actually going to be turned on and seeding on this particular drill. That will give us our pounds per acre as applied with the settings that we are at at that particular time with the particular seed that we are using. Keep in mind, all of our seed rate charts on all of our drills and planters are to be viewed as a base starting point. It's impossible to have a 100% accurate seed rate chart with all the variables as to wear and tear, humidity, size, seed, weight, and density conditions. So keep in mind, this is a suggested starting point. We highly recommend that you do the calibration procedure. Now let's go ahead and get started with our calibration procedure. Now we're going to focus on our gearbox. According to our seed rate chart, it needs to be on drive type two for this application. 
So we'll take our handle and it's on four. We'll back it up. Now we're on drive type two. The next thing is we need to set our seed rate handle back here, our scale from zero to 100%. Always keep in mind when you're adjusting this, you wanna go past your desired target and come back to it to take all the slack out of the drive. Now we're gonna go ahead and dump our seed in our box and make sure we wanna cover at least the first three rows. First thing you wanna do is inspect inside the box. Make sure there's no foreign material or anything that can cause damage in our seed cups. It's not supposed to be there. Now we've got our collection bucket in place in there to capture our three rows. We've already turned the crank a few times and established proper seed flow out of those cups. We've emptied the bucket back into the main hopper and put it back into place to catch our sample. Now we'll take our calibration crank and we'll turn it our 355 revolutions as it states in the seed rate manual to get a proper calibration. Now we've caught our sample and according to the scale we've got 186 ounces in the bucket minus the weight of the bucket. We'll take that amount divided by the three rows we caught that'll give us an average per row. Then we'll take that amount times in this particular case 19 rows because we're seeding with all the rows. That math gives us an output of about 73 pounds per acre, which is a little high for what we're shooting for, but these are particularly heavy oats. So we'll make our seed rate handle adjustments accordingly to get us back down to the 60 pound target that we were originally looking for. Okay, we've redid our calibration, and now it shows on the scale that we've got approximately 150 ounces in the bucket off of three rows. That would figure up to be roughly 50 ounces per row. If you take that 50 ounces per row times the 19 rows on this drill that we have on, that's going to get us about right on on our 60 pounds per acre target that we were looking for. Now we moved over to the native grass side of the drill. We're going to show you the calibration procedures for that. The native grass box in this case we're going to be putting in brome and we're going to be putting on approximately 12 to 14 pounds per acre is our target that we're looking for. Same scenario as on the main seed drive. We want to make sure the drill is lowered. And by lowered, that's going to assure us that our jaw clutch is together so the drive is active, so that we can use our calibration crank, which we've moved over to this side of the drill now. There again, we also want to make sure our lockout hub is in neutral, so it will allow us to turn the calibration crank. Now I'll come around front and I'll discuss the drive settings for the native grass box. Now up front, when we're dealing with our native grass settings, we'll refer back to our seed rate manual. And our seed rate manual in this case, it's a little bit different scenario when we're dealing with native grass mixes. A native grass mix, since no two are the same, they're all different in size and weight, the seeds are all are drastically different, humidity plays a large factor. In your seed rate book, there's going to be a chart that's going to basically tell you how to perform the calibration procedure. And then there's going to be a chart based off the drill model that tells you revolutions of the picker wheel shaft. And what I mean by that is the shaft that runs through all the seed delivery picker wheels that are in the native grass box. Due to the variations in seeds, seeds and materials of different sizes, we don't have a seed rate chart for a native grass mix that is gonna tell you exactly where to set it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tell you how many revolutions that line shaft is gonna make based on the drive type setting and the sprocket that you have installed in the drive. From there, you'll perform the calibration as normal where you'll put enough seed in there to catch three rows. You'll turn the crank 355 times, which is one acre. You'll weigh the seed. You'll get that established amount of seed off of three rows. You'll divide it by three, just like we did on the main box to get an average per row. Then we will come up here and see what drive type we're in and what sprocket we have installed back here. We'll refer to the chart. That will tell us how many revolutions that shaft made during that process. Then we can go ahead and take our sample divided by that many revolutions that the shaft made. That's gonna tell us how much material is coming out per revolution. That's the main goal is to figure out how much seed is coming out per rev. Once we know how much is coming out per revolution, We'll refer back to our chart that will tell us where we need to make adjustments to get it to the target that we want, whether if we need to speed it up or slow it down. The sprockets in question on here, you've got 
approximately nine or ten different sprockets you can put into place. It would be this one right back here, directly behind the drive. It has a linch pin that holds it on. You just loosen the slack and the idlers, switch that sprocket out. Drive type settings, just the same as the main box. You've got one, two, three, and four. Those are all your base settings. Another thing that comes with the native grass, the Series 2, is the native grass rate reduction kit. In some cases, due to the Series 2 having the advanced picker wheel and the much better style agitation, it can put on a little bit higher rates than what some people desire to apply. With this rate reduction kit that comes with the drill, it's going to have two sprockets in it. One of them is going to be the output sprocket on the gearbox, which is the one going back to the first line shaft. The other sprocket is going to be the one over here held on with set screws on the outside of the first jack shaft. Those are the two sprockets you'll change out with this kit. It's also going to have instructions with it, and it's going to have two different lengths of chains to be able to take up the difference in applying those two sprockets. What it's going to do is approximately drop your seed rate output by about 43 to 45 percent. So if a guy needs to lower his rates down just a little bit, you can install this on the drill and it will drop your seed rates by about that. But today, since we're not doing a native grass mix, we're going to go ahead and set it for brome. And brome in this case, in our seed rate book, it actually has a setting in here for brome. So we don't have to worry about the revolutions of the shaft like we do in a mix. It'll tell us exactly where it needs to be for the desired pound per acre output. Our desired target is between 10 and 14 pounds. Brome has its own chart in the book that will actually give you a pounds per acre as applied based on a drive type setting on the gearbox and which sprocket happens to be in play back here on your jack shaft. In this particular case, the way it's set up right now, I have a 24 tooth sprocket back here and I'm in drive type four. If we go to our chart on a seven and a half inch drill, we'll see that that's gonna be applying 27 pounds, which is out of our range. To drop it down to 11 pounds, which is what we're looking for, we just move, move our drive type down to number two. So now with a drive type setting a two and a 24 two sprocket back there, we should be right in the ballpark as far as the seed rate chart. Now we just need to perform a physical calibration and see where we're at. Now we've got our brome seed up here ready to pour into our, our brome, our native grass box. We want to go ahead and do a visual inspection inside the box to make sure there's no obstructions or any foreign objects that could cause issues because this does have an agitator in it. Some could get caught up in the agitation system. Once we're sure everything's clean, we can go ahead and pour our seed sample in. That's about enough to be a little bit more than an acre's worth, over three rows for sure. That way we don't waste any excess seed while we're doing our calibration. Okay, we've did our calibration test, our seed sample that we caught minus the bucket weight is 28 ounces. This 28 ounces that we've caught, there again, is off of three physical rows. So we'll take our 28 ounces divided by three equals roughly about nine ounces per row. Take that nine ounces per row output times 19 rows in this case on this particular drill. That gives us our 11 pounds per acre target that we're looking for. So at this point, we can assure ourselves that we do have everything set correctly for the seed that we're using in this case. Now we've got our seed rate calibrated and we're in the waterway where we're actually going to go ahead and do our planting. The first thing we got to make sure of before we put the drill in the ground and do our seeding is we want to make sure our drive is going to be live. So there again, we'll refer back to our drive hubs on the wheels. This side for the main box, the other side for the native grass box. Make sure those are engaged so the drive will come on when the drill's lowered. The next point of focus, we always want to start from the front and work to the back. So we want to set our culture depth first, then we'll worry about our seed depth. Our culture depth on this particular drill is adjusted by this knob right up on here. One revolution of the knob equals a quarter inch in depth change. So we'll go ahead and we'll lower the drill in the ground. 
pull ahead a little ways and stop and measure our culture depth and then we can make any adjustments needed just by turning the knob up here on our depth stop. From that point, we'll come back to our seed rate handle back here. There's a T handle on the back of the opener. Moving this T handle to the front makes the seed depth shallower. Moving the T handle to the rear makes it deeper. If you move it one set of holes, it's approximately a quarter inch in depth adjustment also. So this is where we'll make our final adjustments once we get our cultures in the ground then we'll go ahead and take care of our seed depth at that point. So now we'll go ahead and fire the tractor up. We'll lower the drill down and we'll check our settings. Now we've got the drill lowered down in the field and we pulled ahead so we can go ahead and check our levelness of the box and our seed depth and our culture depth. Keep in mind our big thing we're worried about, once we've got it in the field like this, down in seating depth, we want to make sure the drill box is level across the top. That adjustment's made with the hitch attachment on the front of the tongue. Another thing, a standard rule of thumb, is we want to run our coulters about a quarter to a half inch deeper than our seed depth. So we'll go ahead and you can appear to do your checks down here to make sure your coulter depth is where it needs to be. Check your seed depth on the back side. There again, you'll make your adjustments with your T-handle. If everything is set satisfactory, we can go ahead and take it to the field.